Hey, everyone, Brian from Bearable Traders here. It's Sunday, August 2nd, and it is a Canadian long weekend, so I'm getting to this a little bit late in the day, but uh, hopefully uh, still be the same good quality and you get something out of it. So let's start out with the week ahead here, and it looks like we've got uh, lots more earnings coming up here. We've got Disney on the 4th after the market, Square, Twilio, Roku, Beyond Me. Yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of the... Stocks we like to trade, day trade, and uh, yeah, so a lot of interesting stocks, quite a variety of stocks coming up this week. Also on the uh, economic calendar, we do have the uh, United States unemployment rates coming out on Friday. So that'll be uh, interesting as well as the initial jobless claims on Thursday. So later in the week, uh, some of those numbers, economic numbers. So let's jump over here to the treasuries and start there. But a lot of interesting things going on in the market this week. You can see here that the uh, yield on the 10-year just uh, dropping through the floor. And, uh, you know, back on early March, we had a low of 0.54. We're at 0.55. We're now just off this this low, this prior low. And this is this is amazing how this is broken down here. Uh, interest rates going lower and probably an indication of uh, where the economy is uh, continuing to weaken possibly uh, and the market's going the other direction but you can see here stochastics rolling over everything's weak on this chart just an interesting chart on the weekly um, and let's start out again with the transports transports going the opposite direction you can see on the weekly here we had a nice uh, rise above the 200 Day moving average uh, seems to be ready to break out. We're at right at this level of prior resistance. Volume could be better. Stochastics going up, RSI making a, a higher low, and everything looks all systems go. And the daily here, you can see we had a pretty significant pullback on Friday, but uh, again, just uh, breaking out here by the looks of it. On, uh, on the Friday and uh, looking like it wants to go higher. So the Dow, the Dow on the week, we ended up uh, down a little bit here, about 41 points, not significant obviously. Um, RSI kind of flattening out, volume kind of uh, average for the last uh, couple months, stochastics still hanging in there. So we may end up just chopping here in this range. It may, uh, we may be sort of flattening out Let's uh, kind of skip over the daily here, but you can see two uh, two reversing dojis on on Thursday and Friday, still holding this 50 moving average, bouncing off it, and still holding. So, still the buying buying brigade is still coming in and uh, on the sell offs and and buying up, buying the index back up. Spy on the weekly, it looks like again breaking out from previous week. We are up uh, one and three quarter percent here. RSI looking still like it's going higher. Volume again dropping off. It's the only thing that's a little bit concerning here, but they're at this high uh, is certainly in the crosshair now. Um, certainly 330 could be a level where we'll have a little bit of resistance, maybe going to that next week. But uh, trend is the friend and it's still higher. And the daily here again, doji. Candle, reversing candle, kind of uh, sold off during the day, came right back up at the end of the day. Buying brigade came in, and the Qs were right back up near the highs, up uh, 4% on the week, and looking good to uh, maybe continue higher. Qs are, the technology sector had a little bit of a pullback here, some rotation out into maybe some value stocks, but now it's, uh, it's back in favor apparently, so volume kind of average for the last uh, couple months and uh, stochastics rolling over a little here RSI really really sort of touching on the uh, over overbought again again same story on the queues bounce back after sell-off buying brigade came in and the IWM IWM's not looking as good um, it's still kind of stalling at this 150 level. It's where we stalled out here on this week. Uh, we tried to break above it and had a real hard reversal this week. And now we're just trying to get back up through 150. So a, a move through 150 would be significant. 
because then we'd have sort of 155 and you know 165 could be in the charts after that so just keep an eye on this 150 level this seems to be an area where we're uh, where we're really having some trouble getting through and again the small caps are if if, the, if we go into uh, another lockdown some some shutdowns on uh, industries and, and businesses again the IWM is probably going to get hit the hardest you know, volume here wasn't great so <clears throat> Same story on IWM Friday, sold off, came back, end of the day. VIX, we're just kind of holding on here, just bang, 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 this, uh, this 20, this 23, 24 level, 2360, 2370, 2355. So this 2350 level, if we, if we really break down through here, if we start to break down through here, I'd be uh, watching the markets will go higher. So something else to watch here if we do start to lose this, because uh, really this is an area that's really been holding in there, this 2350 level on the VIX. Uh, so kind of an interesting uh, take on that. And the weekly, again, just shows we're just, we're actually putting in a bit of a double bottom here. But uh, again, I'd be waiting to see what happens. If we're going to break to 2350, this is, uh, again, on the weekly, this is a 50 moving average. <laughs> So, um, yeah, anyway, that's, uh, that's that. So let's take a look at the actives. Uh, still got some BXC, got this on the breakout, um, taking some profits already. And I'm, uh, my next target, uh, is going to be up here around 15, which is where this level is as uh, 16, but I'm looking to take some profits a little bit early on this. It's really getting over, overbought here. Um, but volume was, volume was really good in the last couple of days. You can see volume coming in here. Stochastics moving up. MACD moving up. Again, the only thing that concerns me here is this uh, overbought situation, but we can still go higher on that. So uh, that one's looking uh, pretty good. Still holding some. And I bought some of this DBA, um, and this was something I had on watch from last week. Uh, I did mention it that it was, I got long at 1390. And looks like it's uh, really started to break out here today. So pretty happy about this trade. We're getting up close to being overbought. Look at the volume that came in on Friday too. That was a nice move. So uh, hopefully some people got in on that one early when it was under 14. Again, I'm, this isn't going to be a huge moving uh, stock. I mean, if I can get up to this 200-day um, moving average, we'll take some profits and then hold for rest. But it's a kind of a play on inflation. I think in inflation, food inflation's coming in, all this money sloshing around. Um, there's, I think there's a potential for inflation and uh, may show up in food. This agriculture fund looks good to me. Uh, this one I bailed on. I can delete that. Just not looking healthy at all. Just didn't want to follow through on that 50 moving average, just rejected it. And you can see here, rejected it, now it's just pulling back. So had took profits on the first part and uh, and then bailed on the rest. So profitable trade. And I'm still in, I don't know why I'm back here, but uh, we're still in, the, um, in this HGU trade. Um, again, uh, I'm, gold is really getting extended here. We got over 2,000, really happy about this trade. It was in way back there, and that looks good. Um, PAS, PAAS is another way I like to play silver, but it's also gold as well. Again, if we uh, if we gap up, it looks like the futures are indicating another move higher again in gold. So um, I take uh, might take some more off here. I did lighten up. I did in this pullback. I bought back in, so I might lighten up again here. It does need to. Uh, I think it needs to do some work consolidating here a bit. Stochastics may be rolling over. MACD looks like it's crossing. Uh, RSI is going the other way. So a uh, little bit of conflicting signals. So maybe looking at a gap up and then maybe take some profits off and and we may just uh, we may just do some consolidation here before we uh, leg higher again. And I really think we are going to leg higher again on that. Uh, Base. Base I'm just hanging on to. Took a lot of profits out of it, but I'm still holding on to a position. Um, if it loses this moving average or somewhere around 22, 22.70, I'll probably bail. But it looks like um, 
Looks like there was some news over the weekend on it, so, so maybe it will uh, start to, to push up again. But I, you know, I was using this third standard deviation Bollinger band, um, took some off back here just because it was touching the this third standard deviation. I always like to take profits at that point because that's really when a stock's getting overbought. You can see here, overbought. And so I'm holding on to space, but just keeping keeping that, keeping an eye on the 22 level. Let's take a look at some things I'm watching for next week. Uh, DraftKings. Some of the sports started up on the weekend. As noticed, there's a lot of sports on TV. That was a, that's a good thing. You can see here we're kind of holding 32, this, what is it, 3230-ish. It's this level, 3240. So 3230, 3240, maybe we'll get a pop tomorrow. RSI is not looking great. Down volume, picking up. Stochastics. This one's not looking very good, but maybe uh, maybe the start of the, the sports will uh, get that one going, or maybe uh, PENN. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. I was looking at this uh, eHealth. Um, it came out with its earnings. This is an earnings. I don't know. The earnings were really good. Guidance wasn't bad, but it just sold off like crazy. Now, it looks like it's kind of putting in a bottom here. Might be an opportunity to pick some up and just use this uh, low of 67, 67, so call it, and what was the low here, 68.54, so might use the low, 68-ish, uh, to get in, and then uh, look for a uh, pop back up here. A lot of stock up in this area here, a lot of people stuck in this stock up, at this, uh, up in this price range, so there's going to be a lot of overhead resistance here, people that want to be want to get uh, back to green and just get out of the stock. Um, so back up over, uh, when we get close to 100, we may have a lot of uh, selling pressure up in that area, but we've got a long way to go, 70 down there. If we get a 10% on that, I'd be happy. GDX again, this is a, another gold stock. Just keep an eye on that. I already talked about gold. This is gold, I mean, right, making, uh, making new highs up another percent on the day on Friday. Um, on the week, Let's see what we did here on the week. Wow, that's just amazing. That's really, you can see here, third standard deviation. Again, you can see what happens when we get close to that drop off, drop off. So getting up here again into nosebleed areas and uh, RSI is getting up close to 80. Uh, volume was incredible last week. Um, yeah, so gold looking great in the long term, uh, short term maybe some profit taking. Um, let's take a look at Intel. Intel's kind of interesting. Bit of a reversing doji on uh, last week, so maybe uh, worth taking a trade here and using this low 47 as, uh, as your stop out point if we close below there. Otherwise it looks like it could uh, maybe reverse. Be looking for maybe getting back up here to fill this, uh, possibly fill this um, gap at 51 and take some profits here around 50. So I mean, if you can, you can get a bit of a pullback here, 47.50 might be a good entry um, and use 47 as a stop. Um, Babu, I was looking at the, the, the biotechs. They've really gotten hit hard. I'm not sure. No, I'm kind of on the fence on this one here. Selling pretty significant on Friday. Stochastics go hitting lower, RSI hitting lower. Still keep an eye on it, but it doesn't look good. Nikola, again, seems like it's putting in a bit of a bottom here. Um, this is a low 29, 30. Uh, what was the low here on Friday? 29, 22. So you could use 29 as a stop out point on Nikola and then uh, play it for a bounce back. Pen Gaming, again, this is another one that might benefit from all the sorts starting up on the weekend. So we might have a bit of a bounce here, something to maybe keep an eye on on Monday. Silver, again, sort of same comments as gold. Don't want to drag this thing too long. I've already gone over where I usually like to target my time on my on my uh, videos here. So oil, oil, we're just really doing nothing. Um, just hanging in there. And the other one I wanted to watch was uh, utilities again. We're just, uh, it looks like we're on the verge of breaking out here. Kind of got a, a trend line going up here, sending triangle. Um, you can see here the bottom, it's the bottom of the triangle, flat part top. 
could be breaking out here, so some to uh, watch as well. So okay, everyone, sorry, I, I did take a little bit over my time. What I usually like to do, try to target 10 minutes, but uh, we had a lot to talk about here tonight. And uh, so again, uh, holiday in Canada tomorrow, but uh, we'll be in the, in the room at 8.30 regardless. And uh, we'll be 8.30 uh, live on YouTube, our pre-market show, and then 9.30 when the market opens, trading the market. So hope to see you there. Have a good week, rest of the weekend. What's left of it for you American friends and around the world. We'll see you uh, tomorrow morning.